Installing a custom sized bed and mattress in a helper's room. Hey everyone, welcome back to The Coolest Dad. Today we're gonna put a custom sized bed in this helper's room. So first of all, in Hong Kong, a lot of larger apartments come with what's called basically a helper's room or maid's quarters, whatever you wanna call it. Um, it's basically a separate bedroom, in this case also with a bathroom, um, that's made specifically for like a live-in domestic helper. Here in Hong Kong, live-in domestic helpers from other parts of Southeast Asia are pretty common. I haven't done it in all the years I've lived here. Uh, we've had a kid in Hong Kong who's almost three now. Um, we didn't get one, but now we actually have two kids. And at this point, because I travel a lot for work, because we don't have an extended family around, we pretty much need a helper, and a helper needs quarters with furniture, and that's why we're here today. So in this apartment building, unfortunately, this room is first of all, kind of small and also very irregularly shaped. So uh, let me basically explain why I needed to get a custom sized bed. So unfortunately, uh, the room is actually not that wide. It's only about 70 inches, which is like five foot 10. So a normal bed just won't fit here. A normal bed is like six feet or so. So um, unfortunately, it's just not big enough for like a regular adult sized bed. So the real problem is actually not the length, it's this width. So from the wall all the way to this door jam, uh, molding, whatever it is, um, it's actually only like 27 inches. And if you go all the way out to here, it's only like say 29 or 30 inches. And of course, because the door is here, you have to leave this space clear. So that means that basically a bed can only fit from here down and basically all the way across. So any sort of normal sized bed, even a kid sized bed doesn't fit because even kid sized beds aren't this narrow. So unfortunately I had to get a custom bed made and uh, I had no idea like where the hell do you do that? Um, not just a bed frame, but even a mattress. So it turns out because this is not an uncommon problem. I mean, this, this building, all the maids rooms are basically like this poorly laid out. I wish them much rather, you know, they made it even a little bit shorter, but deeper, or they made the door less wide or they did something. They made the door open outwards. Um, but the way it is right now, you basically have to get a custom made bed to fit in here and it's gonna be super narrow. And basically, just imagine if you put the bed all the way across, like where do you put your clothes? Where do you put anything? Just this door alone takes up almost a quarter of the floor space. So there's not that much room. By the time the bed's there, you have just a lot, little tiny amount of space here for maybe a chest of drawers, something very tall and skinny. Um, above the bed, you could maybe put a rod across and hang stuff. The only option really is to build a custom bed and then hopefully lift it up so that there's at least enough storage space underneath for some suitcases, for some boxes, for some extra drawers or something. So anyway, I found a furniture store that could make the custom bed to the exact size that I need. Uh, they're actually gonna come and assemble it and they've already made the mattress that should fit on it, that should hopefully fit here. I measured everything like 10 times to make sure I didn't screw anything up um, and they should be here any minute. While they're here, maybe I'll try to film a little bit of footage and of course I'll do a wrap up afterwards and show what they made. And a few seconds after I shot that, they showed up and they put it in and I took a little bit of footage. So it really only took like five minutes for them to put this together. Most of the stuff was pre-assembled. Uh, and yeah, it fit, thank goodness. So here you can see the final thing. First thing that jumps out to you, yeah, that's super narrow. So yeah, this is only about 27 inches. So here you can see, yeah, it's pretty much right there. You could put another inch on there maybe, but I think at that point it wouldn't help too much. Um, so yeah, is it okay to sleep on? Yeah, but you're basically really, really, really penned in there. Lengthwise, it's uh, slightly better, but as you can see, you know, there's this thickness there's actually some gap, which is actually kind of important in case you need to move it around. You can't actually go all the way up to the edge because there's a baseboard there. Um, and then here on this side, you of course have the thickness of this. So by the time you're adding all that in, the actual mattress is, you know, deducted one centimeter, one centimeter, two centimeters, three centimeters, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So this thing is actually only maybe five foot six or so, five foot seven at best. I'm five foot eight and I try to slide down this and basically I can't have my legs straight without going off the edge. So um, luckily, you know, most uh, domestic helpers are much smaller. 
So our future helper, actually, I already checked her bio. She's only like five foot three or something like that. So who? So she should be okay, hopefully. Um, you know, but yeah, it's going to be narrow no matter how short you are. Um, uh, other things about the bed, I didn't actually need the fancy headboard, but that's what came with it. That was sort of the standard package. Even they make it narrower, they still put it on. Um, I asked them like, why don't you just like not put that in? But they were like, it's, it comes with the price. So just take it. Um, and, uh, likewise on the bottom, I actually did get them to customize it a little bit. So normally it's actually much shorter. Um, I think the bed would stop, you know, the leg would normally stop around here, which would only leave maybe six inches below. And I had them basically add another six or seven inches on the bottom. So, um, at this point, now you have enough space. Like you can see that my, my kneecap is right here at the bottom. So there's a good, whatever, 18 inches now on the bottom, which is enough for suitcases, boxes, maybe put some small shelves under there. Cause as I said, like besides keeping stuff under the bed, there's almost no usable storage space in this room. So anyway, if it's not that, it's gonna have to be shelves up here, which we might end up putting in anyway. But that's basically um, a necessity. So I had them build it in the other option, which I still might wanna do if she really maxes out of the spaces. You can always take some cinder blocks or bricks or even just wooden blocks and then just sort of jack this guy up. Um, I used to do that back in college. Just went to the hardware store, bought four cinder blocks, put under the four posts of the bed, get a little bit of extra free storage space underneath. So um, it's fine if it's only a little bit, but in this case, if we have like a really um, not that tall domestic helper, you can't jack this up too much or they won't be able to get in and out of bed. So you might as well have just gotten a lofted bed at that point. Um, but you know, if you need a little bit more space, that's a super cheap way of doing it retroactively um, rather than getting a new bed made, I guess. So um, yeah, so we'll always have that as a fallback. But anyway, uh, that's pretty much it on the bed. I just wanna talk one more thing about ordering it and also the price. So the final price for the custom bed and mattress was $425. Which is pretty crazy considering you could buy multiple full-size beds in say from Ikea um, for the same amount of money I spent for this little micro bed here. But the difference is this was custom made, including the mattress, which I think, you know, is kind of a pain, including like the, the lining and stuff like that. I could have gone out and bought like, yeah, like a hundred dollar bed frame and a hundred dollar mattress and gotten, you know, some saw out and just hack the whole thing up and try to stick it back together. But it wouldn't have looked this good. It would have taken a lot of hours and, you know, doing like the length is fine, but like, yeah, the headboard, like making a narrow headboard out of a wide headboard, it's just kind of a pain. You gotta, I don't know, you gotta put in holes for pins and stuff like that. So you gotta re-drill a lot more than just, it's not just cutting. There's actually like a lot more extra work in uh, getting all the fasteners and stuff to line up. So anyway, I was just like, screw that. Let's just have them build it. I don't have time to come back and uh, spend several weekends building the thing just to save a hundred or two bucks. So I got this bed made at uh, Takad Furniture, which is a chain here in Hong Kong. And uh, they sell a lot of this kind of like, you know, pine type simple furniture. And they don't, at least as far as I can tell, they don't advertise it. But if you go up and ask, they can make custom sized stuff um, on demand. So another thing to keep in mind is that it takes several weeks. So in this case, I think it took four weeks and you have to go in person and line up all the, you know, show them all the dimensions. They draw a nice isometric drawing and make sure that everything's lined up right. You pay the deposit and then they say, okay, on October 31st, which is today, uh, we're gonna show up and deliver it. So in my case where I was like flying back and forth from Japan, I just had to sort of plan ahead and say, okay, I'll come at the beginning of October because I know I wanna get the bed by the end of October on my next trip. So anyway, kind of a pain in my case, in your case, probably fine, but just plan ahead. Don't expect them to like get it to you by next weekend. So um, yeah, that's kind of important. Okay, so that's it for this video. If you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below. See you guys next time, bye. You know, having the stroller with me all the time up in the overhead bin, as soon as we get off the plane, pull it out, unfold it and walk off. You know, literally that could save you 15, 20 minutes right there.